Yeah. All right, so we got a 12 foot quarter inch Barracuda Patriot net right here. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a triple load really quickly. So I do one arm length, grab, one more. I kind of grab by my waist right here and then grab the net right there in the center. Grab like a third, swing it up underneath the arm that you're holding the net with and then kind of flick half of that over the off shoulder let it slide down into your wrist and uh you're ready to let it fly i used to be so beautiful now look at me my actions are unbeautiful it's clear to see and i went to dick's morning goods this morning and picked up this My Little Pony, Little Zepco. Got oh, something? Yeah. That's a Bonita. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, it's gotta be. It's either a tank mackerel or Bonita. It's... Woo! He's a jumper. My Little Pony, My Little Pony. <laughs> Drop him, Duke. one of my favorite stories because it shouldn't have worked but it did this happened during a little family camping trip when i was about three years old after we arrived little matt immediately went out to venture during my miniature journey i found a small stream by the campsite now a small fact about me is that i absolutely love flowing water i'm able to just sit and watch a stream or waterfall for literal hours no this does not apply to still water only flowing anyways i went back to the campsite to retrieve my scooby-doo fishing rod that way i had a reason to just sit there and stare at the water for hours when i got back my dad told me no because you'll never find any fish in that stream don't waste the time Luckily, my mom was on board, so she gave me a line of string and said, I'm sure you can make do. So little Matt grabbed a stick, tying the line of string to the stick. But I needed bait. So I had to get my hands dirty. I dug into the ground until I found a worm. I tied the worm to the other end of my stick, and my custom fishing rod was complete. Then I went back to the stream and found a place to sit. And there I sat for many hours. Now's your chance to guess how many fish little Matt caught in the comments. Done? Cool. After a few hours, my parents went to check on me and saw little Matt sitting there with not one, but three fish caught right beside him. Да, просто жесть. Просто кто-то тупо поставил и, и забыл. Да, возьму куда -нибудь. Уже жизнь не будет с таким обрубком. Рука, извини. Извини. You want to do one smooth cut, just like that. You don't want to sit here and hack it back and forth because you're going to get a mushy bait with a very uneven edge. It's not going to spin right. So once you cut it, take a look at it and make sure it looks decent because bait quality is really important. Next thing, I like to always remove the guts. So by that, I just squeeze the herring just slightly, get the edge of the knife just on the edge of the guts, and just pull them all out, toss them overboard, and that leaves a nice hollow cavity for the water to flow in. And the next thing, guys, is to vent it. So you go right in the butt, just like that, cut a little vent, and the water can come in and come out, and that'll make your bait last a little longer so it doesn't blow out. Water in, water out. Next thing, guys, <clears throat> is how we're gonna rig the herring with our hooks. 